one is easier. And additionally, building these workflows where you get to, uh, oh boy. Here's the man. You're going to scare me again. <laughs> you can talk. In. Uh, welcome. Okay. Hey, this is our, our CTO of Amazon. Uh, We're just Bibles. talking about you. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Guys, I only have two minutes, three minutes. So what do you want to ask? Okay. Um, what is your favorite new service? Oh, man, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. Um, from today, I think there's three ones out there. I mean, they're all good. Um, there's, there's probably, um, of course, armor. Oh, no, sorry. What do you call it? Shield. Um, <laughs> Um, I think Shield is really is really cool because it protects everybody. Yeah, it's sort of out of, out of the box. Uh, from a developer point of view, X-Ray, check it out. Yeah, the stuff is it's it's until you've done it, you don't realize what you have been missing. Uh, it's one of those things. Uh, I think glue is really important because it sort of glues things together that we've that sort of missing pieces that customers still have to do. You no longer need to do it. And then um, step functions. Actually, yeah. so we were just talking about that. It's <laughs> just, just um, being able to build the state machines visually and then have them execute. It's going to make yeah. major changes. What do you think about X ray on premise? Because I know I that think it, everybody's going to be jealous. I, I, I just, I, do you remember the movie Hackers from the 1980s yeah. or the 1990s? Yeah. And you remember how they were hacking the Gibson and they were going between the, the stuff? Sure. That, that's the way that I think of X-Ray is you're finally visualizing your infrastructure. Yes, and I think sort of what we've, we've been sort of living on, uh, well, if you've never used it, you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, yeah? exactly. Or, or I think maybe in, if you had a very uh, elaborate development environment, maybe if you were using Visual Studio with all the, all the metrics tools with it, you were able to visualize things. But still, all of that is not actually running in production code. This is sort of complete differentiation from You can look at production code. Yeah. Now, while running in production, you can do the sampling, you can get the information, and, um, and I probably didn't make it that clear. It comes out of the box with uh, support for VMs, with uh, container support, and um, Lambda support is soon to arrive. And so uh, it doesn't matter how you write your apps, it's all there. Another thing we've been discussing is how Lambda is moving to different contexts in the edge, right, yeah. in devices. Uh, well, we, we're putting it everywhere. Yeah. No, because mostly, and that's really not because we want to put it everywhere. It's just the, the, the programming model that the customers want to use. Yeah. yeah. And so whether you want to do that on your, on your IoT device, whether you want to do it at the edge, it becomes the default mechanism to sort of extend the world. And, um, and generate a lot and of data. Really cool. <laughs> and, and generate data and things like yeah. that. Hey guys, thank you very much for, uh, for having me here. For I need to run off. Bye. Yeah, bye, bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Awesome. I'm always afraid I'm going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> <If> well, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad my screen was shut off. <laughs>